Welcome to Call Capture by Land Voice. Your new Call Capture subscription is a powerful and easy to use system that delivers property information, routes calls, notifies you of callers, and helps you attract more buyers and sellers. Now that you have a new Call Capture account, you can create unlimited extensions with recordings for every property. Then, when anyone calls your number, you instantly get a text message with their phone number and the extension they call. It's a powerful and predictable way to work with buyers and sellers and be different than your competition. Let's begin by logging into your new account. Go to callcapture.landvoice.com on an internet connected device. Click on Go to Call Capture. Then type in your Landvoice username and password. You should have received an email from support at landvoice.com with your login instructions. If you can't find that email or don't know your password, click Reset Password and enter the email address that's on your account and you'll be sent a link to reset your password. The first time you log in, it's a good idea to check your system defaults. Defaults will save you a lot of time later when using your account. Let's click on Settings at the top. Once on the Settings page, you'll see that there are two main sections main extension and defaults. Let's begin with main extension. First, you'll see the opening audio. Now, that's the greeting or message that every caller hears when they dial your call capture number. We're going to leave this as is for now. If you want to customize this, watch the how to manage settings and defaults video in the training and help section. Directly after the opening audio is the fixed message which is a preset message of instructions telling the caller to enter the extension they saw advertised, followed by the pound sign. You can't change this message, but you should make sure that the right name and phone number is set up here. So when a caller dials zero, they get transferred directly to you. We've already entered your name and phone number. If you'd like to change it, simply type your name and phone number, then click save at the top. Now, whenever a caller presses zero, they can directly connect to you. Now let's look at defaults. We're going to leave the first three defaults as they are. You can always customize these later if you want. The most important thing today is to make sure your notifications are set up the way you want. Scroll down to the default menu options and make sure default menu option number two displays your name and your phone number, which should already have been loaded into your account. If you'd like to change it, just click Delete to the right of the name, then click Add Menu Option, and a pop-up will appear. Here you select number two from the drop-down, since that's the one we're replacing. Note that numbers already in use will not be shown, so you can't accidentally reuse them. Then type in your name, or the name of the person you want to route all your calls to, and enter the phone number. Now this is not your call capture number, it should be your mobile number. Remember, this can be edited on each extension later, but by setting it up here means it will apply these defaults to any extensions you create in the future, so you don't have to do it again if you don't want to. The last thing on this page is to check the default notification recipients. This is who gets the texts and emails when someone calls your number. We've already loaded your information in here too, but it is easy to change. Click Delete to delete the name, and then click Add Recipient. Enter the name, put in the mobile number for text messages, and email address for emails, if you want to receive an email for each call that calls your number. Now, this is only seen by you in the system, but it will help you stay organized. When you're finished, remember to click Save. Remember, if someone calls your number and listens to a recording about a property, you should call them back quickly at the height of their interest. If you do, they may still be looking at the property and you can ask follow-up questions. Now that's it for the settings page. Let's move on to marketing materials. To get the most out of your subscription, we do recommend ordering some of the marketing materials available in the system. Go to Order Materials here at the top. In this section is where you request signs, recordings, and flyers. Today, you should order a free kit with samples of all the marketing materials featured. We'll customize the samples with your information, your photo, your logo, your call capture number, and stock photos of properties so you can use this marketing material at any time to help you win potential customers. 
just click on Request Sample Kit and fill out the form with all your information that you would like to be on the bottom of the flyers. This includes your contact information, a professional photo, your logo, etc. You can load all of this into the form and then we will return a complete kit to your email in a couple of days. We also recommend ordering yard signs to use when working with FISBOs and sign writers for your own listings. Call Capture will help you work with so many for sale by owners in your area. Now you can contact a for sale by owner, tell them you're not trying to list their home, but that you have a system you'd like to give them to help them sell their home on their own. Then, when anyone calls that number, you get the notices of the caller's information, and they get to try to sell their home on their own. To learn more about what to say when working with for sale by owners, watch the video Use Call Capture to work with FISBOs, and download the scripts for FISBOs and expireds. Remember, Call Capture makes it easy to work with FISBOs and expireds to get listings and to market your own properties. Let's order some signs. To order signs, select one of the two national sign printers we work with. You may already have a relationship with a sign company, and that's great. Go local whenever you can. We can design what you need for your local printer. Just order the designs here, fill out the forms, and then we'll send you the design files. If you decide to use one of our partner printers, we recommend creating an account with the printer to make it easier to get signs in the future. Click Login here, then click Sign Up here to create a free account. This is an independent company from Lamvoice, but we've worked with them for years and they provide Lamvoice customers with great discount pricing. After you've created your sign account, you can choose from one of the preset brand colors. And you'll notice when you click on your brand, all the signs will already have your colors on them. Select the sign type. I'm going to choose this one. Put in your call capture number exactly how you want it printed with dots or dashes. And then add the extension number and the pound sign. Then click Add to Cart. Then add as many as you want by repeating the process with different extension numbers. We use the same process for sign writers. I'll click on the sign writer, put in the number that, as you want it to appear, add the extension and the pound sign. Remember to always put the pound sign. Select the whole locations, whether you want them at the top or top and bottom, so it's easy to connect these to your signs in the yards, and then add it to cart. And check out, and you're finished. We recommend ordering three to five yard signs for FISBOs, beginning with extension 101, and so on, and at least a couple of sign writers. Many agents order three to four sign writers, starting with extension number 201, and so on. Remember, you can reuse these over and over again on your listings. The numbers are totally up to you, but don't overthink it. We recommend using three digits for each extension. We recommend using extension numbers 100s for your FISBOs to keep them straight, and 200s and up for your listings and other marketing. We know that some agents also like to use the house number on sign writers. For example, if I had a listing on 1254 Main Street, I would order a sign writer with extension 1254. The downside is that I might not be able to use that sign again. Once you know the number you're going to use on the property, I would then create a recording for that property to match the number on the sign. So when a caller sees the sign and dials the number, they can listen to the property details. Speaking of recordings, Landvoice can do professional recordings for your properties. Now, the system does a great job of converting any text into a nice voice, think Siri or Alexa type voice. Or you can do your own recordings very easily in the application. But some agents like to have a different voice than their own. So if you'd like Lamb Voice to do your recordings, click on Request Recording. Enter in all the information. Select the male or female voice or no preference. Decide if you want us to add the recording to your system for you or if you'd like us to email it to you so you can do it on your own. Then copy and paste the message you want recorded. Then Lamb Voice will create the recording and either load it into your account or email it to you depending on your selection above. That's it for this section. Let's take a quick look at creating extensions. Go to Extensions. 
you can see we have a number of pre-recorded marketing messages already in your account. To create a new one, go to the bottom and click Add Extension. Pick the extension number you want to use, then give it a name. Most people use the address of the house, so when you get a notice that someone called you on that number, you can easily see which property they called on. Click on Text and copy and paste or type the text in and the system will convert it into speech. You can upload an audio file, but most customers record their own messages simply by clicking on record, waiting for the timer to count down, and reading the description of the property. And click save and you're ready to go. Now your account is ready to begin using. You can learn more details about customizing your extensions and how to use other parts of the application by watching the training videos in the training and help section. Be sure to contact support for any additional help getting started.